Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn about Koha pattern attributes and we will discuss what are they and how we can add pattern attributes for one by one record or for batch upload. So let's start this video. First of all, the pattern attribute is to add some field. I mean, additional field that you want to add with the patterns. For example, you want to add the uh, father name or mother name in Koha library system or you want to add the designation so how you will actually define the attributes in the Koha library system so let me open the Koha demo site and I'll show you here we have the demo and demo is just for practice purpose so in administration let me open first let me open the pattern form and I'll show you what I have I'm trying to say so for example I'm going to enter a record of a student and there you can see the surname salutations first name middle name initials other names and so and so the main address the contact information alternate address alternate contact library management library setup opaque information and pattern restrictions and also messages uh, preferences so but I want to add the patterns father name or mother name or I want to uh, add the designation of a staff member so how actually I will work on this form how actually I modify this form or add the new field so to add this we need to go in koha administration and here in patterns attribute types where we can define the uh, extended pattern attributes okay so we can select a new and for example we can say it's father name and here we are and is it repeatable or is there a unique identifier display on a pack yes editable on a pack if you want to searchable search by default mandatory uh, you can say it's mandatory or not this way you can add some mandatory field if you would like to display in patterns brief information yes or you can actually provide the category where you want to add this is not it's, it's actually authorized value category so if you want to define this you can or you can select for library for example this library or this library will use this attributes or all the libraries similar you can define the category for example this category need uh, father name or mother name or all the categories and similar for the class so save this we have add this attribute okay the most important thing we need to define the attributes in the global system preferences and there we need to go in administration the very first thing that you have to do you need to define the you need to enable the extended patterns attributes so in global system preferences Add patterns and uh, in fact you can search the extended patterns attribute so there you can enable save and administration again <clears throat> and 
here we have father name and let us add one more that is mother name you need to remember the code and the mother name And now let us see in patterns, add new patterns, example student and now you can see this, this is for additional attributes and identifier, the father name and the mother name these attributes were already defined um, by someone who actually practiced for this so here we can see the father name and the mother name they are some additional attributes and identifiers so we can identify our students through the father name or through the mother name or we can assign some designation as well for the staff member that suppose our staff members uh, we want to assign the designation uh, so we can actually provide the designation as the additional attributes and we can fill this information easily but there's a question if you would like to upload the patterns record in a batch how you will add the father name or mother name uh, in that batch uh, as extended attributes of patterns so let me show you how we actually upload a batch so this is for one by one record and uh, in tools we use this import patterns and there we have the csv i mean as a sample csv file so we can use this file but there's no column available for extended attributes of patterns so what we will do here to add the father name or mother name so do we use the code here or we use something else so you can read this if you would like to see if loading patterns attribute the pattern attribute field should contain a comma separated list of attributes type and values the attributes type uh, code and the column should uh, precede each value for example this is the code and then the value and this is the code and then the value so this way we can use this and the column uh, will use the pattern attributes like this. So we need to add this column here, pattern attributes. If you can see this, I so pattern attributes here and we need to add like, a, uh, for example, we are going to add the father name. So we can say father name that's the code and colon and the father name for example um, and then comma and the mother name as the code and the like this you can skip the space and this way you can use the extended pattern attributes <clears throat> so I have filled uh, some sample data and I'll show you uh, let me open that file I think it's on desktop. Oh, 
okay so you can see the surname uh, card number surname and you can use the middle name title other name initials address phone number branch code uh, here we have branch code Let's uh, suppose CPL. And the student would be ST. Date of enroll. We can format this to date. And we use ISO format where we add uh, year, month and uh, the date. Date expiry is not required here. Relationship, if you would like to add relationship, so you can add relationship. Then, then this is gender, password user id opaque note if you would like to add some opaque notes so you can provide the opaque note here alternative contact and the sms alert number so you can use this to format numbers There's something wrong you can uh, copy from here numbers okay so this format actually not work so you need to work like this uh, two SMS alert and 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 see this is the way to add the pattern attributes father name colon father name comma mother name or if you let's suppose add the designation there so you need to provide like uh, comma designation whatever the code you assign for and then column uh, for example this is just for example so you can provide like this okay after every attributes every value of attributes you need to add the comma like this father name after the father name you need to add the comma and the code and colon and then the value okay so this way we add the pattern attributes in in a batch and now we can save this file to uh, csv format it's already in csv format close this and we need to go in import 
and we need to choose this file and then, then we can upload this one import and done so we have import uh, nine records with the attribute so you can see uh, okay So I'll show you one um, and let us search some pattern there. Okay. You can see the pattern's name and the there in attributes you can see father name mother name so both are mentioned there and you can also see some other names like father name mother name okay so and this way we have defined the patterns attribute and we will we have tried to upload in a batch file so thank you very much for watching raflims this is for